Hey everybody, Johnny Bean here. Greetings from somewhere in uh, somewhere in Indiana. All right, we're gonna attempt to uh, get a hold of Joshua Weaver. Joshua. Yes. You're on YouTube. Is that okay? All right. Perfect. Okay. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I am doing well. I'm actually pretty static. I mean, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, I am located somewhere in uh, Angola, Indiana right now. Mm. So this will be just a podcast because we're still okay. not allowed to do the video. but Right. And nobody seems to mind it, I guess. So, uh, where are you from? I'm actually from Pennsylvania. Where about? Harrisburg. Harrisburg. Holy smokes! Yes. You know, uh, I'm probably gonna be headed that way in the near future. Last time I checked, it is about 29 degrees here. Yeah, I was saying that's going to be probably one of my regular routes uh, in the future. Mm. Okay. So there's there'll be plenty of chances for us to meet someday. Mm-hmm. So hey, whenever you're free, whenever you're out this way. Oh, I would love to. So, uh, how old are you? And, uh, what do you do? Can you tell everybody am, about yourself? Sure, I am uh, 29. Uh, I actually, we I actually, um, we make train tracks for the uh, railroad, really? and, um, yeah, and, um, got married a couple months ago. Congratulations. Um, thank you. Any little ones? No, 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 no little ones yet. No, okay. Um, and pretty much just working and living life. Good. Now, what part of building railroad tracks are you in? I mean, is that uh, the foundry laying down the railroad tracks or what? Oh, no, we actually weld them together and put them onto a train. Okay. So yeah, we actually we actually get the uh, the track itself weld to uh, weld two pieces together and then push it onto a train about with a uh, our longest we make is 1,600 feet long. Holy wow! That's that's a lot of that's a lot of steel. And that goes all and that goes all over the uh, and that goes all over the East Coast and up to up in Chicago and that's a uh, that's quite long. So how long mm -hmm. have you been in that industry? I've been in the industry going on. This would be my fourth year. So, are you a welder? Or? No, I actually work outside on the. Uh, I'm part of the crane crew, which is when we get the uh, 80 foot pieces of rail or whatever size we get in, we uh, we unload them from uh, from uh, from uh, train cars <clears throat> onto a big table. You're one of those road crew that uh, like construction crew for a railroad, right? Uh, yeah, kind of, but we're just we're just based in one facility. I see. I see. Uh, that's. Uh, how did you get into uh, the railroad industry? Is that something you've always wanted, or is that a family tradition, or what? Well, my uh, my great 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 grandfather was an engineer back with the old steam trains and all that. Yeah. And. Uh, I mean, I've played the trains ever since I was little, and I just like trains, so I was had my last job, and we got let go because uh, um, my last job was we were building, um, like, PVC piping and everything for houses. Well, nobody was building houses, so they, let, they had to let the third shift go. So when they did that, there was a ad in the paper for um, 
this temp agency, so I went to the temp agency and they ended up putting me down with the, uh, um, making the train tracks. Now, did you have to formally go to a training school or something? Mm -mm. There was no, there's no training involved. Okay. It's, uh, it's all training there. Now, you and Philip Lee would uh, get along real well. Philip Lee is one of those people that can tell uh, what kind of train it is from uh, 10 miles away. He's, mm hmm Yeah. So what's uh, what's going on in uh, Harrisburg? Uh, what's the weather like over there? Uh, the weather is sunny. Um, it's been we've had a cold front going through. It should warm. It should start warming up uh, tomorrow or late this week. Um, it's about 29 right now. That's the warmest it's got today. Um, right early this morning, it was we had a wind chill of uh, three degrees. Now, would you? But say, no snow yet. No snow yet. Would you say that so far the winter this year has been really mild as far as snow is concerned? Would you agree? For Pennsylvania? Yeah. Oh yes, 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 yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been it's been it's been a weird winter. Here we are. It's it's you know January, and right now I'm in Angola, Indiana. And there's not a drop of snow. It's, yeah, it's it, been it's been very weird the way yeah. the weather's been <clears throat> lately. So may I ask uh, how you met your wife, your the love of your wife? We actually met on a uh, um, on one of those dating websites. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. Yeah, I've, I, I, man, I don't know what what to do with that. I don't know. How does that work? You put in your pretty much just you pretty much just put your information in there, and you can just start looking through looking through to see if you uh, all the other single people on there, and then pretty much just start talking to each other. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's now, pretty much the way it is. Now, now, not not everybody that posts their their profile in there is single, right? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I mean, <laughs> there, there's there's no FBI background. <laughs> yeah. No, not no, not normal, not usually. I don't know. I think it's just <laughs> uh, so just take a guess. So I would imagine you, you look at the pictures of the opposite sex, or <laughs> whatever you're into, and, yeah. then, uh, and then so you start picking and start liking, and then you start digging deeper. And, okay. Pretty much, it's kind of the way it is. Now how long, from from the day you, you contacted your uh, now wife, how mm -hmm. long? How long uh, did you guys start talking on the phone? I mean, first uh, we've was, been together for a total of three years now. Three years. I, I'm talking yep. about the first contact you when you saw her profile picture, uh, and uh, oh, when did I start talking to her? Yeah, well, the day. Well, you, I well, what the day that I got on there, I was looking through. And the reason that made me talk to my wife now What's is her name? What's uh, her, name? her name is Holly. Holly, okay. Yes. The uh, the reason I started talking to Holly was because she was wearing a Phillies a Phillies T-shirt. Uh huh. And we kept talking, and after that, and then. Uh, it yeah, you, pretty much you, was you, you you message her first, right? Before you yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So my question is, from the from the first message to the first phone call, how long did that take? How long did that take? Uh, I mean, I'm sure you guys been shooting messages for some time before you you guys actually started talking, right? Actually, it was, when I messaged her, it was a 
couple days after that is when I actually met her because she was actually she's she works in the uh, she's in the hotel industry she's a uh, front desk supervisor and um, you work pretty she was fast. actually working <laughs> she was actually she was actually working at one of the hotels um, a couple miles down the road from uh, where I lived at my parents house yeah and uh, we actually met, she, we actually met after one of her shifts at work in the parking lot yeah. and then it pretty much just left from there you were pretty fast <laughs> now how many uh, how many potentials did she had with before you guys went on you know exclusively I mean, I'm, I'm sure there were other guys eyeing her and kind of, you know, looking at her profile. Oh, probably. I, I, I don't even, I, I don't even know. I, I, mean, I really didn't even look at that. She, I bet she's been, she's really pretty, right? Yes, she is. Oh, yeah, no wonder you work fast. I guess the, <laughs> the, the competition was probably fierce. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah so, Bob, so you guys been dating for uh, about three years before you guys got married? Yeah, we, uh, we, we've been together for three years, and, uh, well, we were together for two years, and then we got, and then we bought a, then we bought, then we, uh, moved into a part, on a, to in an apartment, and, we pretty much lived to we we lived together for a year just to make sure it would work out before we before we decided to get married. Okay. So I'm guessing so I'm guessing this year would be coming on four. Yeah, this year would be four in July. Uh huh. Yeah. So for now, you guys are just enjoying each other's company and and. Uh, uh, that's pretty cool. No, does actually no we hard we hardly even we hardly we hardly ever see each other with our work schedules. Oh, because my work schedule I work from five a.m. until one o'clock in the afternoon. That's and cool. her work schedule is uh, she works uh, three p.m. to eleven p.m. Okay. So yeah. pretty much when she comes home, I'm in bed, and when I come home, she's leaving. Yeah, yeah. Now, do you guys have to pay that website to get in, or how does that work? No, it was free. Oh, really? Okay. Yep, it was free. Now, are they like a, just a local website, or are they international, national? Um, I think it's uh, worldwide, I, I want to say. What's the name? I mean, maybe somebody out there. It's, will... uh, it's M I U Meat. M I U Meat. Meat. M -I yep, M I U Meat. Okay. Yep. Well. Yeah. Because I actually told my uh, one buddy about it, and he said he was probably going to go on there and uh, put his information on there and see if he found somebody. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yep. Well, I, I I can't go on that website. I I'd, I'd be dead before I get home. <laughs> yeah. 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 My my wife has this very uh, she has this talent of knowing exactly what I've been doing. So yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. Holly Holly could Holly knows what I'm gonna do before I even know what I'm gonna do. Wow, isn't that scary, man? They know us better. It is. It's, it's really scary. Yeah. Well, is there anything else you want to add? I mean, uh, um, how did you find my channel, by the way? I was um, I was on YouTube and uh, I'm I'm I uh, I have a couple other um, truck drivers on there, um. 
Now, who's, I follow the, who's, uh, your, uh, who's your favorite trucking video driver, excluding me? Don't don't include me. Don't include you. No, don't. Um, include me because I really I, I really like uh, the little guy show. Little guy. Yeah. Uh, he's a truck driver. Yes. Okay. Um. There's there's his. Uh, I just. Um. How about trucker jukebox. Have I've seen some of his stuff. I just haven't. I haven't subscribed to his channel. How about um, Alley Night? I'm sure John. Uh, what's the guy? Uh, this married couple. Uh, John and something. I don't know if I've seen that. Oh, Alley Night and Trucker Josh. You guys like the lot, a lot of people do. I've. Uh, I just subscribed to um, Ask a Trucker. Uh, he has some cool. He has some good stuff on there. You can include. Um, <laughs> I said, I said you can include me in that. <laughs> oh, believe me. Once you once you put a video on, because my YouTube wants somebody who I who I subscribe to put the video on. I, it automatically pops up on my phone. Yeah. Saying that you added a new one, and every time you put a new video on, I I. I, I watch it. No, oh, thank you. Anyway. That's why I. That's why I messaged you about that. Well, that's why I uh, messaged you the other day. With your videos are like educational videos for people who don't know about trucking, and they actually get to see how. Well, I'm just. I'm not just saying you. I'm saying all the all the uh, truck drivers in general that um, that do the uh, the blogging as they drive. You yeah. get to show the um, the people who don't really know about truck driving the way you guys actually do live on the road and all that fun stuff. That's I, why I said actually, it was kind of like an educational video. You know, actually, I actually miss doing instructional video because I I don't know for some reason I, I like to teach what I know and you know dropping hooks and fuel and. And for the last couple months or month, I haven't been able to do that. I actually kind of missed it as much as many of you missed watching it. So, yeah. But I promise you, we'll we'll get to it. Uh, I think I'm gonna start vlogging again somewhere around January 15th. So. Okay. Well, Josh, I've kind of wasted a lot of people's time here. <laughs> We're running. <laughs> We're running at 17 minutes now, so I better let you go. Thanks for uh, okay. Thanks for being a good sport, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for doing what you do. And give our best regards to Holly. Will do. All right. Bye, Josh. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah.